Here are the announcements for the week of February 21. Now that our region is back in phase four of the Restore Illinois plan, we are allowed to have up to 50 people for in-person worship. So if you've been thinking about coming back to worship, uh, we ask you to observe some basic safety precautions for your benefit and everyone who's participating. First of all, we ask you to sign up online in advance so that we are within our 50 people. We also, uh, when you arrive, ask you to go to our check-in station, make sure uh, that you're registered, and um, to have a basic health check, just a touchless um, uh, temperature check. And then the ushers will seat you according to household with social distancing. All of our pews are marked for uh, where you can be seated. So um, that will be an assistance. And also we ask everyone to uh, wear base coverings and to bring your own masks. Uh, recently, the CDC recommended wearing two masks. So consider if that's a possibility for you just for that extra protection. We are in the season of Lent, and it is a traditional time of reflection and spiritual renewal. And I would encourage you to find a, a practice that you would adopt during Lent that will help you grow closer in your relationship with God. Uh, one option is a de daily devotional reading. I've made one available through our weekly e-news, and each week or each day has a, a different scripture reading, uh, uh, suggested uh, spiritual practice and some prompts for a journal entry if you are inclined to do some writing. In the series, season of Lent, our sermon series is focusing on lamentation, the, the cry of the psalmist. And um, you might even consider writing your own lament. And there are suggestions for uh, what you might include um, in terms of categories of, of how you might write that lament. But I would just encourage you to um, give voice to the pain that so many of us have been feeling over the last 12 months during the pandemic and all of the other things that have happened to us as a country and a world. But maybe there are even some things that have happened in your own life that you feel very deeply where a lament would give you an outlet a way to express the genuine prayer of your heart to God. And God listens. That's the good news. If you would be interested in sharing your lament for our worship services during Lent, just send it to me. You could do, uh, it could be in writing, it could be in audio, um, or even a video if you, if you like. Now, obviously, uh, no pressure for anybody to share those, but if you're interested, uh, please uh, send them to me uh, in the weeks ahead. I give thanks for the ministry of Trinity Church and the way that as a community of uh, compassion and faith, we are supporting each other and encouraging one another to trust in our God who is so good. And your support through your prayers and your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness all enhance who we are as a church and amplify the grace that we can feel for ourselves and also share with the world around us. It is a dark time and we're called to be a beacon of hope, a, a light of God's grace to the world. As we prepare to offer ourselves once again to love and serve the Lord, will you pray with me? Lord Jesus Christ, we we thank you for your care and compassion. You weep with us just as you grieved for your friend Lazarus, and you suffer with us in the pain and betrayal you felt on the cross. Help us to trust the promise of healing and new life that you offer as we place our lives in your hands. Transform us and the gifts that we commit to you so that others may know your redeeming love. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God Almighty, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with us always. Amen.